Hi everyone, Habibi here. In this video, I will share a new software that I have made for you. It is a free software for making a 360 virtual tour website. This is the software I call it 360 Web Tour Maker. Basically, it is a software written in JavaScript and HTML. This software is made using Electron.js. Let's get started on how to use this software. Here, you can create new project by giving your project a name by another URL. So, and here I specify the directory. I double click on it and click select folder. Then click create button. Here is the name of the project. You can rename your project like this. It will save. It will save automatically. If you want to browse your project, you can click this uh, directory link will see the files here you can upload them to your web server to your website here we have some tabs here and the first tab is panoramas this is the panorama file that we have by default let's try to run this panorama This is our first Panorama 360 Virtual Tour. Let's close this window. And to add another Panorama, we can click this plus button. Let me import this one, Cabin. Now I have two Panoramas. Please note that this green button means this Panorama is the default Panorama that we are going to see at first time. If we want to make this one as default panorama, we can click its name. Let's run it again. And let's add one more panorama to the project. For example, let me choose this one. Let's make it as a main panorama and click play button. So far we have three panoramas. Here we have hotspots. Hotspot is something that if we click on it, it will do something. For example, let's add a hotspot for this our first panorama to add a hotspot here we press the control button and then click anywhere on the scene to add it then we will see a dialog here then we give it a name then click add here we have one hotspot for this first panorama. Let me go back to panoramas and make it as the main panorama, then click play. Here we see the hotspot. To change the hotspot icon, we go to hotspots tab and here we can click it. Then we choose the hotspot icon that we prefer. For example, this one. Let's run it again. Now it is changed. We can add an action by clicking this button. Then we need to choose one of this action. For example, let me click this open panorama. We specify the destination panorama. Let's say I'm going to go to this panorama by clicking that hotspot. I click it and let me try again.
here if we click this hotspot we will go to that panorama scene let's make another button or a hotspot here in the second panorama to go back to the first panorama so here I will click this add new hotspot then let's say I place it here I press control button and click I name it go back click add here we change the we change the icon I choose this one and click add action choose open panorama and we can click this one if I run it I can go to the second panorama then I can click this hotspot to go back to the first panorama let's try to add another hotspot here for example in this window we are going to try to show an image by clicking this hotspot I name it image I change the icon I click add action and click show image here we click it we don't have any image yet so we need to add some images by clicking this tab let me add this image we go back here click add action show image click and choose this one you can try it click this arrow and we will see the image you can close it by clicking this button you can do similar things for video audio and pdf document so you can just go here and click add new file click your video to add and go to audio files click your audio file click to add your audio file click open you can also add pdf document to import it let's go back to hotspots and here in our second panorama i will add another hotspot for example here open pdf here we click add action we choose open pdf file and click the pdf we will see a pdf file let's add another hotspot for this panorama I'm going to place it here and here I'm going to play a video I name it video click add and let me add another one here I name it audio click add for this one I'm going to to play a video and I just the file you can see the file name is very long let me change the name it is stored here in this videos folder let me remove it and try it again play a video to choose click this one for the video and this one for the audio I'm going to change the icon and click an action play an audio and here I click the audio file let's play it again I forgot to add a hotspot for jumping to this panorama so here I'm going to make another hotspot let's see here 
I need it jump to cabin and then I change it to maybe this one I click an action open panorama and click this cabin hit play button here we click the arrow to go to the cabin and this one is the button for the video let's click it I'm sorry it is for audio we can play we can play the audio file let's close it and here let's try to play the video file Let's add another hotspot and this one I'm going to place it here and I'm going to try the open here now. I will add another one here. Here I name it one Click add. For this one, open URL. We can click add action. We choose open URL. Here we type the URL that we are going to open. Click save. And for this one, we can click add action. Execute JavaScript code. Here we can type our JavaScript code. For example, console dot hello, and let's show an alert. alert. And click save. Let's play it again one more time to build it. Then we click this directory folder. I'm going to run it on my local web server so I copy this address and I run the SAM I start the web server paste it here rename localhost and press enter here is our tool you can open the developer console here to check let's go to try this hotspot this one you can see the javascript code is executed you can see this console log and also this alert and let's try this one this one is open url if we click it it will open another page one last thing that i'm going to show you is the settings tab here you can change the project description the loading text and the first panorama that you are going to open for the first time and this one is to show panolens control buttons but if you choose yes and click save run it you will see the panolens control button here you can go to full screen and you can click the settings button you can change the mode from normal to cardboard Out stereoscopic. Okay, that's all for this video. This is the first version of the software. I will package it and upload it to my website. Then I will share the link in the description of this video so you can download it and use it for free on your computer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will like it and see you next time. Bye bye.